What we've come here to launch is a defensive driving driver promise where youngsters who've recently passed the test realise that they don't know it all and that they are in fact the most dangerous of drivers on the road because of their problems of lack of experience. So what we want them to do is to get their parents to agree that they'll sign a defensive driver's pledge that it, we're giving out leaflets for them and it says they promise not to get involved, never make themselves vulnerable and never be involved in somebody else's death wish. <laughs> Now, it's quite often that the young driver the concerned doesn't drink, doesn't want to drink, but she wants to take her friends out. So they all pile into Mum's Corsa or Fiesta, which is totally different from the learning to drive vehicle that they trained in, and they put two, three or four people in the back seat, and if there are four people, they can't wear seatbelts. And one of the problems with a small car with a heavy load in the back is it handles totally different from any other vehicle they've driven. The front wheels don't grip the tyre, the tyres don't grip the road safely. And as they go round a bend with a heavy weight in the back, a slight touch of water on the road, and unfortunately they lose their steering, they lose control, they crash, and you could have five or six deaths just on that one simple incident. Yep. So far I've looked at the car maintenance. Um, there's a lot of stuff that can go wrong with a car. It's quite scary, actually. Yeah. Like, just having like a millimetre too little tread depth, what can happen? It's quite scary when you're when they tell you what can happen. Right, okay. And you've been sitting in with the police, haven't you? Yeah. And what did you, what did you hear there? Um, the thing I most remember is the, um, the seat belt thing in the back seat. I thought it would only affect me, but as you know, there's this guy and he's, he's like nutting this girl and his head butting her because he's, um, he's crashed. He's in the back seat. And uh, yeah, and it's his girlfriend he killed and he was still alive. But. Today we have 124 students from nine schools from across Bedfordshire. Uh, they're year 10 students, so they're 14 year, 14 year olds. And we have a health and social care conference here at the Polar Hall campus of the University of Bedfordshire. And the day has started with an accident, um, in, which is a performing arts student from the university performing a car accident within the campus. And we have had the real life uh, police arriving and the fire engines arriving and the paramedics arriving and the students have seen this accident happen and they have seen what happens um, when an accident takes place. 